Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a bonus singles love reading for March 2020. Please however keep in mind that time is fluid so this can actually be a past, present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate at all please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. I also put out a singles reading last week so definitely go check that out. I'm going to link it in the description box so that you can easily find it. There are also timestamps down there if you want to skip straight to the reading itself. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away three free readings a month. All you have to do is follow me there. Uh, comment on any post for the month you want to enter for. Winners for February are going to be announced on March 1st. We have asked for help from others. Anything else need to come through for Capricorn? What message is in love for Capricorn? We have romance, that's came out a lot, and meditation brings answers. We have take action here under the deck. You know what's interesting is the last couple of readings that I've done, romance came out. It could be done with a Pisces or an Aquarius. Alright, for Capricorn. What's the energy of this reading? It's beauty. So somebody may see you as an empress or someone with a very beautiful soul inside and out. We have acceptance here under the deck. Hmm. Interesting. Take action and acceptance. Alright. For Capricorn. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram so that you can vote for our weekly deck. This week you guys chose the Universal Weight Tarot. What are you reading today? Alright, for Capricorn. What message is to come through for our Capricorns? Capricorn and Cross Watchers. It needs to come through for Capricorn. Capricorn, your energy at the top, your person's energy at the bottom. It can be flipped or reversed. Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. That's fire energy. This person, they're longing. They are waiting for you. They feel very distant from you. They feel like there is physical and emotional distance here. They've been waiting for that ship to come in. Waiting to move towards you. Alright, so your energy here. Ace of Pentacles. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. This person... They see you, for one, as somebody who is very stable, very grounded. This person, I think that you are, I think you're ready for stability. Maybe you're ready to make an offer to someone or you're ready to receive an offer for someone. But you are ready to start something stable. I think you're at this point in your life where you are ready for stability, for commitment, for a serious connection. It's like you're not ready to just date anymore like you're ready to get really serious with somebody it's like you want things to be equal and balanced maybe for you in the past things haven't been so that's a big issue for you you want to make sure this person you start something with they're going to invest their time and energy into you they're going to make sure things are equal and balanced with you it's like maybe in the past there was a major imbalance maybe in past connections people really didn't in relationships people even just friends and family i mean the things they were they, they gave it's like you gave too much and they didn't give back. Do you know what I mean? There was a major injustice, you know, in time, energy, money even. It's like you're ready for things to be equally reciprocated moving forward. Now, I think that you are ready to have your wish granted. I think that you are trying to find emotional fulfillment. It's like you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it's like you're ready to have your dreams come true. It's like you are you're ready for your wish fulfillment. What is it that you want? This is kind of an overindulgent energy, so I do feel 
with these cards it's like if things have been imbalanced in the past this person coming in they're they're i mean they are giving you attention they are giving you emotional fulfillment and i think you're eating it up you know what i mean like i feel like you are just absorbing this you are just what's the right word reveling in it i mean you are just really enjoying this time and energy this person is giving you like you are really enjoying this and there's movement there's travel okay cancerian energy here you could be dealing with a cancer but this person they want to travel to come see you and you want to travel to see them i mean i think there's there definitely could be distance here you guys could be long distance but this person they want to come see you and you want to, you want to meet them halfway now this person they feel like they're missing you they think about you all the time now for some of you if this is a past person you know, and the things weren't balanced in the past, then they would definitely regret this. For those of you who this is a brand new person, because I do see a new opportunity here, this person, they know that you've been hurt in the past, and they don't want that. They, they're very, what's the right word? This person kind of feels like others may have missed the opportunity, and they're a little bit in their heads, okay? They're a little bit in their heads because they don't want to lose or risk losing that with you. This person really feels like you are their soulmate. They feel like this is a divinely guided connection. You could be done with a Gemini. They feel like this is supposed to be. This is meant to happen. The two of you are supposed to come together. It's just a matter of time. For some of you, if this is a past person, this could be a situation where somebody here is making a choice in love. Okay, but this is intended for singles, so that's not for every single one of you, okay? Now we do have Sagittarius energy here. This person wants to heal the situation with you. They're trying to be patient here. They know that you are their wish and they are yours. Okay, this person, they are fully left out from you. So I do feel like if you guys are at a physical distance from one another, when you're not with them, they're missing you. They're missing the opportunity with you. They want to come see you. Maybe they can't always come see you. It's, it's like a matter of waiting. Maybe they have responsibilities or obligations, you know. They're very disappointed when they can't come see you. It's very painful for them. They feel left out in the cold and it leaves them in this energy of reminiscing, right? Thinking back to the past, reliving the memories they had with you. It's like, this person, distance feels like an issue here. This feels like an issue of distance for most of you. Um, like when this person's not with you, they just think about you all the time. And they think about the missed opportunities. Like, I want to come see Capricorn, but I can't. There's distance here. We have the star card, Aquarius energy. You could be done with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. But this is like a healing kind of energy. It's a wish fulfillment kind of energy. But what's crossing that is somebody is very confused. Maybe they don't know how to clear the obstacles to move to the other person. Maybe that because there's distance here. Maybe because someone has work and obligations. You know, whatever that pertains to be, there's obstacles that keep getting in the way. And I feel like travel is a big issue here. So both of you are constantly reflecting on the past, the time you spent together. This person, they are yearning and longing and waiting to be with you. This person is just waiting for the right opportunity, ready to clock out of work, ready for that shift to end, right? Ready for their responsibilities to be over with, to take care of projects, situations they have to clear up, to wrap up. They feel very disappointed with how things are right now. This person does not want to let this connection go. Earth energy, this person does not want to let this opportunity pass them by. They have been working on something behind the scenes they want to present to you. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy this person wants to work on this connection with you this person is they are literally ignoring all these pinnacles around them because they want to focus their time energy and efforts on you you could work for this person for some of you but I see this person communicating with you Aries Leo Sagittarius energy I do see this person reaching out to you and saying you know what I feel very passionately about you I am ready to take action here we have that take action card. Now they've been trying to accept the fact that the two of you are at a distance and they're trying to wait and be patient, but I don't think this person is gonna be patient anymore. They're ready to build with you and there's a lot of communication from this person. This person is pouring their heart out to you. They're trapped in their head over you. You definitely could be done with a strong, with strong Taurus and they're trying to always kind of get Empress energy with this card, but they find beauty in you inside and out. They find you irresistible. This person, they may be asking for their friends, you know, for guidance, tarot readers, that kind of thing. They're trying to get information. You know, what should I do? Should I reach out to Capricorn? Should I allow Capricorn to reach out to me? Should I go travel to see Capricorn? 
you know, but there's romance here. Their, their feelings are real, okay? This person is trying to meditate. They're trying to get clear and bring answers. They want more information about how you feel and where you want to go with this. But this person, they're very passionate about you and they want to close the distance here. All right, Capricorn, that was your message. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.